Hey, what's up everybody? Mori here with a quick tip for Sony Vegas users. Uh, people who have tried the main console with AVC AAC codec will probably have noticed already, but when you render out with that codec, you will actually uh, get a darker video than you wanted. So, to fix that, you can either just add uh, like lightning and whatever it's called, just the brightness, context, that stuff. But it's kind of difficult to get the right, right levels, and you can't really check. Uh, you have to re-render it, render it until you get the right things. So actually, if you add the levels uh, plugin and set it to com computer RGB to studio RGB, then you will actually get the right levels. And as you can see, it's, it's like a lot bright in here, but in the finished products, when you like, render it out, it will actually look perfectly fine. Um, so that's a quick tip for, uh, for users who want to render it out with that codec, since it's hardware supported, if you didn't know. It will actually render like a lot faster if you have good uh, Nvidia cards, which I have. All modern day uh, Nvidia cards have that support. So if you have that, I, su I re certainly recommend you use that codec. Um, another quick fix of yeah, I, I think you could call it a fix. If you want to render it out with a different codec, uh, let me let me check. It's under AVI. Uh, X. 264 video for Windows. If you want to use that codec, you can actually uh, use that too, but you have to uh, change a few things. Otherwise, you get audio desync. So, uh, check zero latency and disable virtual dub if you have that enabled. Um, then you can render out fine and it will actually look good. Um, Random times will be super long, but your audio, not audio, uh, your video file will be actually a lot smaller than if you use the uh, hardware supported codec AVI AAC P4 thing um, so that's it I guess um, leave a like if you liked the video uh, if it helped you out or anything uh, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next episode